Well, welcome back to the channel and uh, much appreciated for you joining me today. And what, look what we have here today. We have the Honda Rebel CMX 500. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, jump on. We'll fire her up and uh, see what she's all about. Right, keys on the side here. And it shall spring into life. Uh, running, yep. Yeah. Switches on, clutch in. Clutch is very light, first thing I've no I notice when I get on. I think it's got the torque assist torque assist clutch. Here we go. Hold on. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, the sort of cruiser type bike, so it's got the uh, kind of the midfoot pegs on this. A lot of traffic here today. Once we can get rolling, we'll get rolling. I have actually rode the 1100 model of this, which is a DCT, the dual clutch transmission. This is the, oh, it's very light on the clutch, first thing I notice. Very, very light on the clutch there, which is nice. I think it's uh, actually 30% lighter feel of the clutch there um, on this model. Very nice first impressions. Like I said, I've only just jumped on, so I have to give it five just to gel with the bike a little bit very minimalistic on the switch gear and the clock got a hundred millimeter clock there a uh, little bit of glare on there so maybe could do with the screen you know anti-glare protector on there very minimalistic it's got the speed it's got the gear indicator loads of mud here in the road God. well yeah anyway thanks for joining me today on this review if you're interested in the in the seat the CMX Rebel 500 then uh, this video may be for you I say we'll, we'll get rolling and uh, open her up in a bit see what she's like this is an A2 compliant bike as well so if you're you've done your A2 restricted license this would be perfectly suited to you I should think and then you can um, have the rest well then you can um, yeah choose to move on to a bigger motorcycle if you choose or stay with a rebel but yeah like I said I rode the bigger brother uh, the 1100 and I was quite impressed with that the video is on the channel if you're interested feel free to to watch that so just these mirrors a little bit they're very good little bit of vibes through the mirrors there uh, visibility not too bad six speed gearbox as well on this we're actually in fifth gear at the moment for 50 mile an hour. Slow it down a bit. So yeah, the Rebel CMX 500. Seat's a bit hard on the old Jaxi. Uh, my first sort of thoughts on that. Very low riding position here, which is the, you know, the, the hello sir. Hello sir, uh, the style of the bike, very comfortable, nice and relaxed. We'll go through the specs, so stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll run through the specs in the usual manner. So I always want to make sure I get them right. I do wear off some of the specs when I'm riding. Um, but like I say, I want to make sure I get them right. So yeah, low speed, very low speed. No issues there with that at all none obviously feet flat on the deck here um, with what with you know what with the low seat height uh, sounds quite nice it's, it's a twin uh, parallel twin two into two into one exhaust system like a shotgun type muffler So that clutch is very, very easy on the old pinkies. Indicators on. In we go. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there is a there is a bit of glare on that on that screen there, but you can see what you need to see there. So it's got a little gear indicator, speed, uh, mileage. There is a button here on the side there that you can perhaps kind of flick through your your different settings, trip settings, etc fuel gauge at the bottom there uh, 
Yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah, thanks Honda today for the loan of the bike in order to bring you this review. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Nice day today, actually. Makes a change to see the sun shining. Uh, we've had a lot of rain recently, so uh, not been able to, to sort of get out too much, although uh, had a few reviews out there. Um, yeah, I quite like the minimalistic, like I said earlier, of the you know the actual bike. So the button cluster, uh, main beam here. Oh, are you on a flash of lights? Um, you just push that one down there. So there's nothing on the on the front of that button cluster there. Uh, that's high beam, low beam. I don't want to dazzle anyone. That's all I give the rail crossing. Yeah, a little bit bumpy. <laughs> a little bit bumpy. Other than that, can't really grumble too much. Let's get it into top gear. Not bad at all. Comes in three colours this as well. Um, we'll run through them when we pull over. And the price of the, uh, the bike. So stay tuned. I'll give you a thorough walk around of the bike, but we'll take a take a left up here shortly. We'll go uh, we'll go through the town of Roxham for a change. A little bit further up here. What the brakes like? Nothing behind me. Not too bad there at all. Single disc Nissan. Oh, not go down a peg. Single disc Nissan on the front there. We'll try the rear. Nothing behind. That's actually quite good, that rear. Very good, in fact. We'll do, uh, like I say, nothing behind. Front and rear. It's actually very good. Yeah. Instead of us a single disc, actually. Very good. A little bit windy today, so I hope you can hear me okay. But I'm not moaning, the sun's out. Which is quite nice. Nice to see. I haven't seen it for a while. <laughs> yeah, so it's got the sort of mid uh, foot peg riding position here, which I quite like the feet forward. I'm quite, uh, I quite like that. I quite actually like the cruiser feet forward riding position. Oh. Take a left here, and my winder open. Oh. Yeah, turn the indicator off, no self-cancelling indicators. Lots of accessories for this as well, should you want to customise the bike through the genuine Honda website, as, uh, as usual. Nothing behind. Overtake manoeuvre. No problems with the overtake manoeuvre at all. Like I say, a little bit of vibes through the mirrors there. Yeah, when I wind her open, it becomes a little bit blurry in the in the mirror there. Other than that, fairly good visibility. Well, the visibility is very good actually. Um, yeah, clutch. Like I say, that I, I know I mentioned it a couple of times. That clutch is very very light there. You can pull it with your little finger. Suspension, yeah, I think that's the uh, 41mm telescopic forks, non-adjustable, and on the rear, I think you've got the Showa actually, the Showa um, shock units, the twin, the dual shocks, which I would say would be adjustable for the preload, but I will double check that. Get a bit of distance between this car in front and we'll try the old horn out. Not bad. Can't grumble. Can't grumble at all, can we? Yeah, my initial thoughts are we'd make an excellent sort of um, A2 license bike, this one. No worries there at all. You wouldn't even have to have it adapted for the A2 because it is actually A2 compliant already, I think, with the, you know, the power that the bike actually has. 
chugging away nicely there. Third gear, second gear, and around the cyclists. Lots of cyclists out today. Yeah, it's actually, to be honest, with a bit of sun on there, it's actually um, pretty good, to be fair. A uh, couple of buttons on the uh, each side there. So we'll pull over in a bit and I'll, uh, I'll run through the full specs of the bike. It's just nice to be out as well today. Make the most of the dry weather. <laughs> Yeah, well anyway, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Plenty more bike content reviews coming to the channel, whenever possible. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad. So there's a little seat on the back here as well, if you wanted to take a pillion. Not got a pillion with me today, so I can't demonstrate the... Uh, the bike with a pulley in on the on the on the rear, perched on the rear. This seat is a little hard for me. Uh, there's one thing I've noticed here. A fair bit of traffic through here. Um, I made a wrong move here, actually. I think it's going to be quite busy in uh, in the town of Roxham. Can't really filter through there either because there's not really enough room, but. I'll have a go anyway in a bit, see what the old rebels like to filter. Once we get round this bend and get past this lorry. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah, like I say, if you unsubscribe, consider subscribing. Another thing, if you can hit the like, that'd be much appreciated. Hit the like button. Um, we get lots of comments of uh, you know the content of the video being being okay and good and you know. I'd much appreciate it if you could hit that like button. That'll help me out no end with the channel. And, uh, you know, obviously promote the video through the YouTube uh, gods. <laughs> no problem at low speed on this bike at all. No problem. It's not a heavy bike. One thing I have noticed is the... When I'm going to put my feet down, the foot pegs are quite wide. They're out quite a way, so they're, they're kind of... Uh, you know, hitting the sides of my my uh, my legs, but um, you have to just put put your feet behind them. You just have to be aware of that, really. Yeah, what I take made a wrong choice here with the uh, with the traffic. Looks clear after this car, so we can manoeuvre. Run down the outside of the, the the traffic here nicely, no problems on the rebel. Nice and easy. I'll squeeze in just a bit further up here. You have to take every little gap and every opportunity when you can, when you're filtering, just to keep rolling. Yeah, the brakes are very good, like I say, considering it's a, a single disc on the front, but no, no issues at all. Just take it nice and easy down the outside here. Just continue to make progress. Lots of traffic today. I wouldn't have come this way if I'd have known it was going to be like this, but it is a good opportunity to test the bike out. At low, lots of low speeds. Now coming into the town of uh, Roxham. Hello, sir. Another fellow bike around enjoying the, uh, the nice weather we've got. Are we going to make the lights? <laughs> OK, 
Come on, keep rolling. <laughs> keep rolling. Oh. No messing about. Into the town of Roxham. On the Revel. Do you feel a bit of a revel on this? Let's have a look in the reflection. Yeah, she looks good. She does look good. Comes in three different colours. Um, we'll run through them in a bit. Don't seem to be making too much progress through this way. I want to get over and uh, run through the bike specs. Just as soon as I can find somewhere to pull in. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned. We'll get past this, get through this traffic. There's no issues with the bike at low speeds whatsoever. In fact, it feels kind of in its element actually. Morning or afternoon. We'll get on the twisties and we'll. Uh, See how she performs. So suspension does seem a little bit a little bit stiff. Uh, nice. Good morning. No nod from the biker there. Quite happy chugging away. Quite know if I've got the the performance to overtake the, the the car at this speed. All the confidence, especially when there's uh, the loads of tractors coming the other way, and <laughs> you want to make sure you can get in. No issues. Very responsive on the throttle. Happy plodding, plodding, plodding along at 60 or 55, 60, and uh, back down to 40. So we're pulling just up here on the left, and I'll run through the specs of the bike. What a lovely day! It's so nice to see the sun. I know I keep saying it, but it's just a better feel factor, you know. Of, uh, you know, a bit of warmth on your body. It's nice. No vibration through the foot pegs there at all. Not that I can feel anyway. Big old chunks of rubber on them, so... Right, we'll take a left. Actually, yeah, just here. Pull in here. Little bit of off road on the Rebel. <laughs> okay, there we go, indicator off. Lots of side stamp, no problems with the neutral, no problems at all from uh, first up into neutral. We'll have a, we'll try second down, no problems in neutral at all. Side stand, yeah, no problems there. Turn her off actually. Not bad, not bad. See the old clutch cable there? Oh, sorry, the accelerator throttle cable. Working as magic. Right, let's turn her off. And we'll run through the specs. So you've got the ignition on the side here. We'll turn her off. Gloves off. Alright, so here we have it. The Honda CMX500 Rebel. Uh, yeah, basically it's Euro 5 compliant. Um, basically it's a 471cc liquid cooled double overhead cam parallel twin uh, with a wet multi plate hydraulic assist and slipper clutch for a 30% lighter lever film. And you do notice that. I'm not going to deny that. They've done a good job with that. Um, yeah, very good. So uh, 
Yeah, it's got a six speed gearbox. Um, also uh, has a nice two into one shotgun style muffler. It's two into one exhaust there with a shotgun style muffler. Uh, the engine will give you 45 brake horsepower at 8,500 RPM and 43.3 newton meters of torque at 6,000 RPM. So, um, yeah, nice and easy there by the look of it to get to your oil filter for your service, uh, which is always good. I'll probably put a radiator guard on there. I've actually got one on. Yeah, it's already got a radiator guard on there, so save any problems with that. The front suspension, yeah, like I said earlier, 41 millimeter telescopic forks, uh, non-adjustable non then. So uh, got the old gaiters on there as well. Feel actually quite thin then. Oh no, they're okay. Yeah. Uh, rear suspension is uh, the dual uh, show a pro link system and uh, it's adjustable there for your preload as well you can see here so it's adjustable there um, maybe you could soften up soften up a little bit uh, should you require uh, 16 inch wheels uh, front and rear with a three inch rim as well so uh, yeah Nissin Nissin brakes there with a single disc um, on the front there and again single disc with a Nissan caliper there on the rear ABS you can see the ABS ring tucked in there um, and there also fuel tank capacity 11.2 litres uh, again I hate it when they do this they quote it in uh, you know miles or kilometres per litre so 11.2 uh, litre tank with a 26 kilometre per litre consumption so I'll let you work that one out uh, seat height is a uh, yeah very low 690 millimetre seat height and the wheelbase uh, the contact patch is 1488 millimeter giving you a 28 degree caster angle and 110 meter millimeter meter yeah 110 millimeter tra uh, tra trail uh, ground clearance is 136 millimeter as well with the ground clearance so yeah fairly low uh, to be honest uh, you'd have to be careful not to not to clout that uh, what else have we got for you here? Uh, yeah, the weight, the curb weight is 190 kilograms. That's the curb weight, so yeah, not too bad there. Turn the old dash on. We've already had a look at that anyway, but we'll turn her back on. There is, like I say, a bit of sun glare on there. So 100 millimeter dial with a one button uh, touch speedo, uh, whatever that means. LCD display and a blue backlit uh, display there. Uh, it's including a gear position indicator, so uh, very minimalistic, very minimal, minimalistic there. Uh, so yeah, it is also um, A2, li A2 license compliance, compliant, as I said before, and it comes in three different colours. Uh, matte axis grey metallic, um, matte jeans blue metallic, and also graphite black. And the bike is coming in at £5,849. So, yeah, you know, ideal. Ideal, really. What do you make of it? Let me know what you think. Could you see yourself on one? Or uh, test riding one? Uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, I think the, the, uh, the lights are non-LED lights as well. So, uh, yeah, what do you make of that? Let's turn the lights on, actually, and have a look. That's your full beam. We'll put it on low beam. Yeah. Okay, let's turn these ones on. Yeah, it's quite mean actually from the front. Quite mean, I quite like it actually. You see the tubular swinging arm there as well. Uh, what sort of tyres have we got on there? Dunlop tyres. Yeah. Okay, so well I think we should jump on and ride some more. Right, okay. Just adjust this a little bit. That's better. Right, let's fire her up then. So, uh, side stand up, ignition's already on, clutch in. Uh, here we go. Cool, very warm. And then off we go. No problems on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let me know what you think could you see yourself test riding one um, have you got one ok nice for a bit of airflow actually yeah. 
yeah not too bad at all you can't really go too wrong you know uh, you get the, the the Honda warranty as well so uh, can't grumble at all good you know it's a fairly decent price as well it's not a uh, you know overly expensive really for what it is and you can always just if you, you know should you decide to upgrade to the 1100 you know if you, if you wanted to stay within the the, the CMX um, Rebel range of motorcycle let's take it right here into the village of Horning very nice village this one a bit out of my price range for these uh, properties <laughs> indicator off like I say no self cancelling indicators uh, which uh, like I say I'm a sod for leaving them on so something I could do with a bit bumpy like I say maybe I'll soften up that rear shock well you can actually it's got the preload so uh, he was looking at the bike what a lovely day but anyway I really do appreciate you joining me today on this review and uh, like I say stay tuned for future updates future updates future uploads to the channel hit the notification bell that way you'll be informed of all the latest uploads you know as they're uploaded onto the channel hit the like that'd be much appreciated if you could do that um, yeah anyway take care and hopefully I'll see you on the next video See ya!